Coach, again, give us a quick overview of what you expect for Texas State this year. Well, um, you know, this is our first year in the Sun Belt, third, third conference in three years, uh, second year in FBS football. Uh, we were able to win four last year, which is not as many as you want to win, but probably not a bad first start. Um, I think last year uh, I would characterize our players maybe as hopeful and more this year I would characterize them more as hungry. Um, you know, offensively, uh, it's going to come down to our quarterback position and solidifying that right now. Uh, I think our offensive line has a chance to be a little better, maybe a little deeper than it was last year. We've got good tight ends. We're solid at receiver. Um, we've got good running backs. Terrence Franks ran 4.29 in spring testing, so uh, we've got good depth there. Um, you know, between Tyler Arndt, Jordan Moore, Duke DeLancelotti, Fred Nixon, and, and Tyler Jones, an incoming freshman, somebody's got to solidify our quarterback position. Defensively, uh, we'll be better. Uh, we need to be better. We, we struggled some last year, but we'll be, we'll be better. It's just how much better. Uh, DJ Yendry, who transferred in from TCU, will help us be better in, in the D-line. Blake McCullough is a senior that uh, our two tackles, him and, and Yendry, are pretty solid. Uh, our linebacker crew with Micah Rackpo, who transferred in, and uh, David Mayo, and uh, uh, those guys are, are pretty pretty solid. Um, you always need ends that can rush the quarterback in college football today, and that's always a uh, Jamie Clavellhead and, and Jordan Norfleet have played a lot of football and, and uh, have played a lot for us and done a, a good job. Uh, our, our secondary is is a little unsettled right now, but we've got a great corner in Craig Maker. He's as good as I've coached. Um, we moved Xavier Daniels, who started for us for two years at free safety, to the other corner to, to replace uh, Daryl Morris, who's in the NFL now. Um, we've got uh, Damani Alexi and, and Aaron Matthews and Demetrius Woodard, who I think will solidify our two deep safety positions. And Justin Awuji and Brandon Jones help us solidify our low safety position. So I think our defense has a chance to, to work out. Um, we got a good kicker and Will Johnson. He holds the school record for the longest field goal. He's got a great leg, kicks a lot of balls out of the end zone. He can punt. Zach Robinson punts. Uh, we've got our snappers and returners back. So uh, we're, we're much more prepared for this year, uh, year two. Uh, you know, a new league, we've got to learn a little bit about the new league, but I think if there are three keys for us, it's quarterback, defense, and kind of adjusting to a new league. What does it mean to you, players, your fans, that now you can compete for the conference championship and you can go to a bowl game and do those things that FBS schools do? Well, our fans are excited about it. We could do that last year in the WAC. Uh, last year was our first year that uh, right before the season they waived uh, the bowl thing, and, and w if we could have gotten six wins, we, we could have gotten to a bowl game. Uh, but our fans are very excited about Division One football, FBS football, and our, 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 um, our university is excited about it. And, um, you know, we've still got some growing pains for going through as, as we make this transition from FCS to FBS. But, um, you know, we've got great support from our administration. So there's a lot of excitement that surrounds our program.